Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Rando Geek. We do have an update coming out of Verizon. The article is from the T-Mobile report. You can find the link down below in the description. We're talking about legacy rate plan increases, something many do not want to hear about. I cannot blame you, but here's what we know so far according to the T-Mobile report. Looks like bill increases for the legacy rate plans will be in effect January 23rd of 2024. Now, they're saying multiple legacy rate plans are seeing an increase. The amount of increase varies depending on your plan, of course. Not only consumers, but business accounts as well are being impacted by this rate increase. They are saying, luckily, only a few specific plans are impacted this time around. Verizon has not been shy about increasing rates on legacy plans. This is about the third time in, I believe, over a year or a little over a year. So, uh, you know, times are rough, I guess, for Verizon, even though they're saying that, uh, you know, they closed out the year making a $2.2 billion increase on their net value. But I, I guess, uh, you know, the foreseeable future is unclear for them, so they're doing what they can to cover their tracks. Anyway, let's go over the plans, then we'll talk a little bit more about it. So the plans that are affected by this uh, will be getting a $5 a month increase, as mentioned, January 23rd of 2024. This goes for the Business Unlimited Smartphone Plan, Business Unlimited Essentials Plan, Business Unlimited Plus Plan. Plans that will be increasing by $3 per month, effective January 23rd of 2024, are the New Verizon Plan, Flexible Business Plan, New Verizon Plan for Business Plan. They're saying... Summarily to the economic adjustment charge, customers can't avoid the fee forever. They're saying once you activate a line, upgrade a device, or complete a contract, the fee kicks in. It is only a matter of time. They're saying that uh, we should add that these changes come from a trusted source, they're saying. That being said, plans could change, so Verizon could change their minds. They're saying that we'd have to wait and see. So they were notified by an insider source that says, these rate increases will happen. It's just a matter of time uh, for some plans, but these are the plans that are guaranteed going to get it on January 23rd of 2024. You know, at, at this point in time, it is what it is. I, I mean, these legacy plans, we already know that these wireless companies do not want us on these plans anymore. They want you to move on to their new plans. This is why they come out with new plans. They want you to take advantage of their new incentives. They're tired of using those old, um, you know, services. The, the deals that were struck back when these plans were being offered are no longer valid for the company. They're paying a lot of money to still maintain those lines. And there's probably not that many customers on it, which is why they figured they just want to get everybody off of it. So I guess they figure if they can't get you off of it, they're just going to charge you more. And if they do an increase of $3, you know, every six months or even once a year, you know, you will be ultimately paying more. It won't be a lot more, but it will be more. Personally, I don't like that they increase legacy plans. I, I never understood why they would do it. If you've signed up for the plan at that price and that's what was guaranteed to be your price for the foreseeable future of that plan, they should validate it and they should honor it and keep it that way for their customers because that's the, that's the price you took advantage of at that time. If they don't, they didn't want to offer that plan, if they didn't want to honor that price, then they should never um, have said that they would. You know, So that's the only thing about it. I don't like when you, you make changes to, to the old plans. You can do whatever you want to the new plans because a new customer will have to just accept it. But if you've already gotten a deal and maybe – that's what your fixed income is based on. You you can only afford that. Um, now you're disrupting someone's pockets. So, but anyway, update for you. Uh, if you are affected by this, at least hopefully now you know. Keep a lookout on your bill. You will see an increase for the plans mentioned and the amounts mentioned based on those plans we just discussed. Feel free to comment down below with any com with any comments or questions or suggestions, whatever it is. As always, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.